I just want to do this quick intro video or this intro shot before we get started. Today we're going to be or I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a very quick infield spool for paracord or natural cordages. And this is a quick thing that you can make pretty easily if you know how to make a V-notch with a knife. You can make this very easily and this is just a quick simple spool whether you need to spool paracord or whether you're collecting natural roots or natural cordages to spool. Uh, this is just a very fast and easy method. You can make these in multiple different lengths depending on how much cordage you need to spool. And overall, they're just very easy and quick. And I'm going to show you guys pretty much just a video of how to make one of these spools very fast and very effectively. Anyways guys, now let's roll into the uh, footage of making this spool.
guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that quick look and quick showing of how to make one of these spools. I will note one thing with these spools, another thing you can do with these, so long as you don't fill them up to the brim in here. You can also, if you want to keep them kind of in a way that you can collect, like keep the cord from unspooling, if you will, you can also bend these tips in like this. You guys can see I don't know if you guys can see that action well <laughs> I don't know if there's a good way to show it but you can bend these uh, ends in here and you can actually use just a little bit of cordage or anything to just kind of bend these in uh, bend these ends in and keep capture the cordage so that it doesn't unspool itself and so that's another neat thing you can do with this but like I said it's very basic all it takes is uh, I think eight or no four four V notches and just do them in the way show and this is a little bit of a tricky thing definitely take some time to practice this uh, it took me a little while to get the hang of how to make these uh, spools but once you learn how to make that notch that i showed you guys that's also the way that you can affix tips such as steel tips or rock stone tips to spear or arrow shafts that this is the same uh, notch that you would use to affix things in that way but this is a very versatile notch here but I thought I would uh, primarily show this notch in its most useful capacity at least for probably most of us and that is making a simple backwood spool like this and this spool even this spool here that's pretty small this is as you guys can see in my hand it's not much larger than my hand this can probably hold 10 to 15 feet of paracord or of natural spruce root or any type of natural cordage so this can hold quite a bit of cordage on it and i'm going to quickly put some paracord on this just to kind of show you guys what it would look like if um if I, I was putting paracord on it i'm actually carrying a spool of paracord but for those who don't carry spools and i didn't carry spools for a very long time this is a really great method so basically all you do is you take your paracord and you can even use this kind of area down here to kind of tie itself off. So I'll show here real fast. But this is bottom notch and I'm sorry for any construction noise I just realized you guys might hear in the background. Uh, we're not really that close to any roads but construction noise goes on forever and so I apologize for that and all the airplane noise. So anyways guys, that's pretty much the basics to this spool here. And you guys can see, very basic, just pretty much do as you'd exactly expect and run the paracord through these channels and uh, it'll hold paracord very effectively or any natural material. And once again, uh, making this is the same process whether it's a big spool or a small spool or you can even control the depth at which you want your spool ends to be and that also will control how much paracord you guys can see here easily holding quite a chunk of paracord <laughs> of course so anyways guys that's pretty much it I'm not going to continue to spool too much more cordage on here because uh, I have to unspool it all and put it back on here so that is the basics though I just wanted to show you guys of how this spool system works and it's something that you can very easily and readily make out here in the woods and I thought a really handy thing to show you guys anyways guys that's all for now and I'm out